I'm lovely Linda. I come to you from Apex, North Carolina. I think this is my third time doing mini classes for ClearSnap. So this is the house that ClearSnap built. That's exactly what I decided to name this. You're going to make your own little coin envelope. You're going to decorate it with your own little twinchy. You're going to not have a gift card to put in it. You'll have to buy your own gift card. But what I like about this, you can use this as like a little memo holder. The little card the dentist gives you or the eye doctor can fit in this pocket just as well. If you want to leave your husband a honey-do note, put it on a luggage tag, tuck it in the pocket. And if you don't want to use it for notes, it's still cute to sit around just to, if you have a store, just to display in your store. Okay. In your goodie bag, I need you to take out two items. I need you to take out your little wooden house and your easel that's a piece of chipboard. You're going to place those inside your color catcher, since I don't have one, just leaning like this, okay? You're going to spray these front and back. Just light, even strokes is fine. Now, if you've never played with smooch, this is an ink, and the mica is suspended in the ink. So I take these and I roll them. A lot of people complain about the mica getting stuck in the spray nozzle. On, our, on the ClearSnap website, they'll tell you how to rinse it, clean it, get that unstopped. There you go. All right, so you just take off the lid then, and you're going to spritz. And I like to do it like in a moving motion. Just make sure you keep it inside your color catcher. Now, I took the chipboard. And I scored yours already so that it's going to have that little angle on it, just like this one. You can see where I just scored it with a bone folder and a ruler. That was it. So that it'll actually act as an easel. So now if that is dry, I want you to pull out. You've got two pieces of balsa wood. One is a wide strip and one is a narrow strip. I've also given you a decorative popsicle stick. And we're going to ink these using the petal point pads. So I don't care what color you choose, that's entirely up to you. But these are going to be the little strips, and you don't have to put them both together at the bottom, you can put them higher. The popsicle sticks I just happened to find in a craft store, and I thought, well, now that might be cute running across there. So I just threw those in. It's optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. So now while your houses are drying, start inking your little strips. Now these petal points pull out of the pad so that you can actually use them as a small ink pad if you've never played with these before. And then after you get those inked, just sit those aside. We'll let those dry. All three of those are done. Oh, we're working so quick. I love this. I love this. Okay. You have an itty bitty little bag and you have a corrugated flower that comes in multiple pieces. You can use as many or as few as you want. If you've got a flower that looks like this, these little centers are already pre-punched. You just need to pop those out. Okay, there's a, a large ring on the outside of one of the smaller flowers. This one layers on top of that largest flower, okay? So that one will pop off. And again, you just use the tiniest little bit of glue on the back and you'll stick it right on there if you choose to use that one. What I want you to do next is choose different ink colors because you're looking for layering, okay? So can you see with the brad, the flower spins so that you can see all the different colors underneath? So you're working on the corrugated side and the ink will be applied just to those raised areas. Now after you've colored your flower, you've got strips of corrugated cardboard. You may have a long one and a short one, or you may have three short ones. Again, they all cut very easily with scissors. These are going to be your roof. So do you see all the different colors? So you see, you're just taking your little strips, you're adding color. So if you want to just kind of lay them up against there so you can see roughly what size you want to cut them, because you see as it continues up, 
they're going to get really, really tiny, but it gives you the opportunity to use every color in that stamp pad palette. The next thing I want you to do, now we're going to start doing some stamping. In your bag, you have a roof, which will be a big piece of paper like this with a scalloped edge. And I'm horrible with those scissors, so it may have two scalloped edges. You just never know. This is the reason for the popsicle stick, girls. When I'm using those scissors and I'm not cutting straight, and you're going to look at your roof line and go, well, now that's a little wonky like that Linda was, you can hide it with a popsicle stick. You don't even have to have that show. I made that really easy for you. This is going to be your little gift card holder. And a lot of people buy their gift card holders, the little coin envelopes. You so don't need to do that. So I've already made one for you. I've left it nice and flat so that it's stampable. And then you just fold it over, put some glue on here, fold that over, put some glue down on this bottom tab, fold that up, and ta-da, you've made your own little coin envelope. So when you start putting your house together, you're going to take your house, you're going to take your roof, you're going to glue it on, take your scissors and trim along the edge, but go ahead and stamp going across the entire piece. And the same thing with your coin envelope. Just a good stamp right across the top. So now that we have these two pieces, okay, they're stamped. All right. If your house is dry and you're ready to actually start handling it, if your edges did not get sprayed, take one of the ink pads, just like these girls are already doing, and just ink right along that edge. So now if you're ready to actually glue that on there, again, you've got your glue. You can go ahead and glue your roof down, hold it for just a couple of seconds, and then it might be easier to trim it once it's actually attached. Okay, so take your glue. Now, you've got craft glue from Helmar and you have the 450 Quick Dry. I can't tell any difference for this project. They both work just fine for me. So whichever one works for you, you can put it right on the roof of your house, like this. Make sure you get it close to the edge and then lay your paper down. Just press with your fingers to make sure it's adhered well. Give it a few seconds holding it and then trim with your scissors. So now, you can put those balsa wood strips together, you can put them separate. You can put your corrugated cardboard together, you can leave it separate. This is purely personal preference on this part. Just whatever looks right to you, that's how I want you to start assembling your roof. So this is going to be the last thing that we're doing on our house, is creating our little work of art that's going to be attached to our coin envelope. Once you've got your roof assembled, then you're going to start assembling your flower. And you'll use your little gemstone brad, you did, right in the center. And again, with glue, right on the back, you can stick it anywhere on that house you want. And I liked mine sticking off the edge, but you can do yours completely on. Again, up to you. Now, if you'll go ahead and glue your um, coin envelope, Fold the flaps over on the back. If you're done with that, again, you're going to close over, put some glue on here, fold this over, hold it for a minute, put your glue down here, fold that up and hold that for a minute. That's making your coin envelope. Then we're going to attach the easel to the house. So in your bag, you have two clothespins where I have already scored and creased your chipboard for your easel, that's going to go at the top. Down at the bottom, make sure it's not longer than the house. It can be the same length or a little bit shorter. You're going to put your glue up here and then with your clothespins, you're going to hold that in place. Okay, your easel is attached. Yes? Yeah, but it is on there. Yes. Yes, I always want a yes. It's always yes. Okay. okay. So now, your twinchy is your last little project. You have a two inch by two inch little piece of white paper. In your bag, I gave you a, a hotel room key or a credit card, something like that. This is for scraping. And I didn't keep one for myself. Okay. Here we go. 
On the tables in front of you, we have the Illuminate Smooch. Okay, best tip I can give you to start with since these are brand new. I take and I very carefully tear the name off where it overlaps on the lid and I stick it right on the bottom. And now forever, when mine are all scrambled up, I know what color smooch I'm playing with. Okay? I'm telling you, I love that tip. All right. You're going to open. Now, for those of you who've never played with smooch, this is an ink, not a paint. It has the mica suspended just like the spritz does. But instead of painting with it, I came up with a different idea. So, on the edge of an old credit card, an old gift card, uh, a room key, I'm going to take my smooch and I'm going to paint me some on here, little blobs of it, right at the edge. And then I'm going to scrape it across that paper. You can do it multiple times. So can you see that shimmer? You can put as much or as little on there as you want. Then you're going to, was this yours? This was yours. Then you're going to use your inks and you're going to ink over this. Soft colors, please. Pastel colors. And you'll see that that shimmer will still show through. So now, with just a couple of the pastel colors, the softest shades in your color palette, I want you to put some ink on there. Okay, because can you see the finished one? See, just, just a couple of little hits. And if you want to blend it with your paper towel, just to spread it all around, you're just doing a little direct-to-paper on here. <laughs> if these are just a little sheet of funny sayings that I've been collecting over the years. So you're just going to clip one of these out. Now, we're going to play with our jumbo rollograph wheel. How many of you have played with these 100 years ago and then you haven't touched them since? I'm telling you, what's old is new again. So if you've never played with these, if you've not been around 30 years doing this like me, there is a release on your ink cartridge here. You're going to pull that out. You're going to slide your ink forward so it's making contact with the wheel. And then on your scrap paper, you're going to start rolling this to ink it up. Okay, so now that's your next step. You're going to roll right across your little twinchy to get your print on there. Okay, you pull out the protective cover. There we go. Now roll it on your scrap paper and get it started. Now you're going to adhere your little girl and you're going to adhere your little saying on there. Just clip out whichever one you like with the scissors. Again, the glue stick works best for this. Stick that right onto the twinchy and then with the Helmar glue, you stick that onto the front of the coin envelope. Okay, so now to close up your roller graph again with your thumb, you just slide that right back down. Literally, you just pull the ink away and then you slide the cover right back down in there. That's what keeps your ink wet so that it doesn't dry out. Okay, how many of you have played with our design adhesives and our foils? Have you played with these before? Okay. The main thing to remember about our design adhesives is to peel them apart slowly and carefully. Okay. So if you hold it up to the light, you can see there are multiple branches on here. You just want to cut one of those apart. Can you hold it up like this? And I like a tall one on my house. Okay. So you can see I want it to go from the bottom up to my roof. Can you see how I did it on here? Mm -hmm. So I have to gauge. I may have to cut off part of the bottom. I probably wouldn't want to cut off the top so that it's going to be the right size. When you pull this apart, you can start at any edge. This is a design adhesive that is sticky on both sides, sandwiched between two pieces of release paper. This is not a rub-on. 
So when you start peeling this apart, here we go. You're gonna peel that little piece of release paper off. Do you see it looks kind of like a wax pa uh, freezer paper? Do you see? So as you peel that off, the design adhesive is on that clear release sheet. Okay, like that. Very good. Now you lay it down. This doesn't take any tool. You don't need a bone folder. You don't need a brayer. You just use your finger, literally. So as you peel this apart, this will be thrown away. This you lay right down on your house. And then just burnish with your finger. So now you take a piece of your foil. And shiny side up because this is the side you're going to see. This dull, flat side sticks down onto the adhesive. Shiny side is up. Again, with your finger, you just burnish. Okay, girls, what would you think? There's another piece of your foil. So you think you'll do another one? Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you.